Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a million years, but I was going through a mental breakdown. I am back, I'm over it. We are doing a recipe 41 today, buttermilk blueberry puff. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take six croissants that are like the size of your hand, cut them up into about two inch cubes, and then after you've buttered this nine by 13 pan, you're gonna go ahead and pour all the croissant pieces into the pan and then top it with about three cups of washed blueberries. chill to the side while you're doing that go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 degrees and then our next step is to get 12 tablespoons of room temperature unsalted butter I chop mine up because I think it makes it easier for uh, this machine but yeah then to this you're gonna go ahead and add one cup of granulated sugar and then you're gonna beat this until it's nice and creamy All right, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do, it does call for six eggs at room temperature. The only downside is that the recipe calls for you to crack them in one at a time and beat them individually. So don't jump the gun and crack them all in at once. Do them the way the recipe calls for one at a time. I'm not sure if it makes a difference, but we're following the recipe here today. So <laughs> I did it once, you could see the whole thing through, and then I just did the five on like super fast forward, so you don't have to mindlessly watch through that. So I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, I hate cracking eggs, you guys. All right, so the next thing you're gonna take is one cup of buttermilk, and then you're going to take two cups or 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream, pour that on into your bowl. You're also gonna take one teaspoon of kosher salt, and you're going to take two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract, and then you're just gonna give this a really good, a really good beat down. Booty beat down. I don't know why that's like stuck in my head all day today. So anyways, add your vanilla, get that thing good and mixed, and then we can add it to the top and be done with this recipe. Yay, you're back. So pour all that mixture over the top of your blueberries and croissants, and then you're just gonna take some thicker coarse sugar, about two tablespoons, and coat the top so it kind of gives it like a, a really nice crust, a little crusty crust. And then yeah, you're gonna pop this thing into the oven at 375 for about 35 minutes or until the center comes out clean. And then I will be back with some final picture products, some final pictures of the products, final product pictures, yes. All right, you guys, here's the finished product. I mean, stunning, immaculate, delicious, beautiful everything of course i topped mine off with two little dollops of vanilla ice cream one thing i would recommend i would say you could probably get away with only using eight tablespoons of butter versus 12 12 just seems like too much to me so my recommendations double up on blueberries only use eight tablespoons of butter and i'll see you for next recipe